The shipment of bodies for labour continued after the victories of the slavery abolitionist movement, advancing a control system from a logic of facilitation to a logic of constraint. Immigration control and growing nationalism created the racist whiteness criteria for nationhood. Control was the sovereign idea of a state, control as freedom. There are these uncanny cohabitations of transit spaces, like ports of entry, where migrant deportation overlap with the arrival and departure of legitimate travellers in cargo. It is the spectacle of the way of illegality and its transportability. The experience of watching this is one of witnessing scenes that produce meaning, not only through what they reveal, but also through what they conceal, emphasising the blind spots that structure our understanding of concealed mobilities and their control. Here knowledge is not so much obtained as it is glimpsed and entangled with interrogating what one can see. Its self-reflective, fragmentary structure articulates a certain tension between motionlessness and motion through long takes and stillness of the eye, as well as the compositional structure of the seeing with what is partially blocked for the eye and the distinctive relationship between one's ongoing thought bubble and the observing. Yet this, this, an elusive associative mosaic approach, generates ambiguity and uncertainty, and combined continuity with discontinuity. This is a transit state of mind, placed, misplaced, in translation, with a lens, a scope, Transparently or maybe opaque, this inquiry inside the security gate echoes words of a flaneur, a traveller. What does this place know of me that I cannot know of myself? It is, it is inconceivable to be perceived as a traveller, undoing the illegality or the legality, being both notably the migrant, the colonial invader. The lawn is a symbol of destruction, hollowed with no sign of life but uniform sharp blades of grass. 